YouTubers, welcome back to another Vintage Diecast Restoration Mail Call. Got something really special this week. Um, got a pretty big box here. Um, this is actually from a, a client of mine. Um, good, very, very good client and has become a very good friend um, who found out that I collected cars and is in the process of kind of doing some purge and cleaning. And he said, you know what? I think I've got a bunch of those kinds of cars from when I was a kid. And so when he got home, he uh, sent me some pictures and sure enough, he had all sorts of goodies. And so this is what he sent me. So these are from uh, John Gunderman. Um, like I said, I, my regular day job, I'm an architect and I've been working for John for about a year now. And uh, we've gotten to be very, very good friends. We've done some really fun, exciting projects. And uh, John's just a really great guy and uh, I've really come to value his friendship. Um, and so this was kind of cool. We started talking about it. He sent me some pictures. Um, and so I'm super excited about this. These are uh, John's personal cars from when he was a kid. And not only did he send me the cars, he sent me this really cool uh, carrying case. Um, you can see got a little crack on the handle. I think that's fixable. I may try to, to use a little solvent glue on that, see if we can fix that up. Um, the artwork on it looks really nice. Um, I, I have a couple of these cases. I've got the Matchbox branded cases, and I think these were made as a, a generic, um, but I don't have this particular case. I've, I've seen it before, uh, but I don't, I don't have one of these. So let's see if I can figure out how this opens. I think that's that's how that works on the end there. It's got two trays on the inside. So let's see this first tray looks like there's a couple of I think these are slot cars. Um, looks like they've got some kind of a contact on the bottom. If you know what these are or if you recognize them uh, give me a shout out in the comments below, tell me what you think they are. I think these are slot cars. Um, that's pretty cool. A little race car, a little number two. So those are pretty neat. This case too, this looks like it's in really good shape. I mean, a lot of times when you find these, the cardboard in them's all bent out of whack or it's missing completely or some of these little grommets are torn. And this one looks like it's in really remarkable condition. A little dirty, a little dusty, but nothing a quick cleanup can't, uh, can't fix. That looks really nice. And let's see what's in the second one. There we go. So it looks like there's quite a few more of I'm guessing these are slot cars. They gotta be. They got the little little pin on the bottom, kind of hold it in the track, and then the, the little, I guess those are glides or pickups maybe. I don't know what the correct term for those is, but man, look at that. That is cool. A little hot rod pickup truck. You can see kind of the gears and stuff. I'm guessing that's the drive motors in there. Looks like a, see that's gotta be a Chevy, maybe? I don't know, Chevy, Ford? If you know what any of these are, give me a shout out in the comments and let me know. But I'm not much into the, uh, the slot cars. I don't collect those. Um, maybe some of you out there do know what these might be. I'll have to do some uh, some digging and some research to see if there's anything in here that's fairly valuable. Oh wow, look at that one. Like a little beach cruiser dune buggy. That is neat. That is really cool. And of course you gotta have the uh, GT. Nice little car. Now this one's kind of neat. This uh, this looks almost like the regular Matchbox race cars. Got the little little driver in there. Motor exposed at the back. Kind of neat little piece. 
This one, this one looks like the same one from that other tray, the orange one, but this one's in yellow. This one looks like it's uh, a little broken, a little damage there. Looks like the roof is cracked out. That might be fixable. These are all plastic, so. Another little muscle car, pretty neat looking car. So these, uh, these I got to do some homework on. Um, so if you got any resources or know any place I might check out to learn a little bit about slot cars, uh, leave me a comment below, let me know. But these ones here, these are what I was really excited about. Um, so these are all original Matchbox. Um, this is a 71 Jeep Gladiator. It's got both doors intact. Very light playwear on that. A little something on the roof, and I think that might even be something that might clean off. Um, but the paint on that is really pretty good for something that's, you know, over 50 years old. So that's a nice little piece. And then we've got a pipe truck. This one still has the pipes original pipes and the little rubber band to keep them in place. So that is definitely a nice little find. And that is, I'm gonna call it excellent condition. It's not mint, it's got a few little dings and chairs here and there, but um, very, very light, play worn, it's complete, all original paint. Glass looks really nice and clear in that, so. Super nice model for sure. Glad to have that. We've got a crane truck. Now this is one I was really excited about when he sent me the pictures because I've got two or three of these and all the ones that I have are rough. Um, they're all very play worn and I was looking at probably doing a restoration on them if I, if I wanted to keep them. Um, I recently picked up in, I think I've got it in one of my earlier mailbag videos, um, an original box for this. And I've got just the box only with the intention of doing a restoration on it. And it's, uh, it's gonna take some work, but this model is definitely nice enough that I am not gonna do a thing to it, except maybe find an original box to pair it up with. Um, it's got the original tow hook in yellow, looks really nice. And I can't hardly see, I mean, there's maybe one little spot back here. And honestly, I think a lot of times you see stuff like that, that may have even come from the factory with a little bit of that just rubbing around inside the box. But that model is just almost perfect. Really, really nice piece. And definitely the best copy of the crane, the number 30 uh, that I've got now. Got a BP tanker truck. I've got a few of these. Um, again, various states of uh, decay, disrepair. Um, but this one is really nice. Got just a few tiny little areas for the most part. I mean, paint on this is in excellent condition. The interior's intact, looks nice. Um, again, I would never dream of restoring any of these. Um, just uh, taking care of them. Here we've got a hovering ham tipper truck, I think. Yeah, hovering ham tipper, number 17. Um, again, beautiful little model. Very, very nice original condition. You see that decal is a little down on the side there, and I'm pretty sure, again, I think these came from the factory imperfect sometimes. Uh, that's one thing I'm always wary with. Anytime someone says, oh, you know, I got a mint condition and I look at it and the decals are perfect and straight and square and there's not a fleck anywhere, not even where the box would have rubbed, I'm pretty sure that that's not original. It's gotta be a, a restoration um, or it's been touched up and loved. This one looks like it's got maybe even a little, it's like a, a rubbed decal or something down there in the bottom. Something stuck to it for sure, but uh, very minor condition issues on this. Overall, really, really nice little piece. And super excited to, to get that one. Here we've got the cement mixer. Uh, the, I think this is a 
Foden. No luck. Yeah, Foden cement mixer number 26. Uh, Lesney, England. And I've got a couple of these. I have one of the older ones. Um, and I've got several of the red and yellow, the newer ones. But these ones, it's always kind of a, a mixed bag on what you're gonna get because the barrels didn't have a lot of support. So a lot of times you find these broken off. And this one, again, really great original condition. Um, very nice little model. Few, few little chips and nicks here and there, but uh, to be expected for, for the age. Very happy with this one. Here we've got... is that that is a grit spreading truck number 70 and I've got a couple of these um, I've got one that the the box is all crunched in I plan on doing a restoration at some point on it um, this one you see a fair amount of oxidation on the the metal there on the base but overall in pretty good condition and the slide is intact now, one of the variations to look for on these is the color of the slides. Some were gray. This is a gray tab. Some were black. Um, and I don't remember without going back and consulting my catalog which one is harder to find. Um, I know I've got both in my, in my collection already, but I definitely don't have any that are this nice. This one's in really good shape. The wheels look really nice. And uh, that slide being in working condition is also pretty tough to find. Most of the time you find these, they're broken. So very, very happy with that little piece. Here we've got a plow truck. That's the uh, Shamel Scamel number 16 snow plow. Um, I've done a restoration on one of these and these are a really fun little model. Very simple in the construction. Um, again, this one's original condition. Got a little, little nick there on the decal on the front. I know that they make reproductions of these, but again, when I got a model that's this nice, I think I will leave it just in, in this condition. Um, you know, I really see my role in collecting models like this. I, I'm just a caretaker. Um, you know, John had these as a, as a kid. Um, he's passed them on to me now. And so my job in history is just to take care of them for whoever comes after me and uh, super excited to have some of these original pieces. Next, we've got one of the loaders here. It's got a, tires are loose, but on these original models, the tires are always loose. So this is the number 69, the tractor shovel. Um, really good shape on this. Very, very light play wear. Few little spots here and there in the paint, but um, all original condition. Very nice little piece, and to have all four tires there, even when they're loose, you know, these are the things that you usually find missing or gone when you find one of these. So, really happy to have that one as well. And then, last but not least, and you can see I'm going to have to pick it up in pieces here. We've got one of the uh, snow tracks, um, and some of the pieces of the original treads. I've actually, I just finished up a restoration on one of these and uh, I actually pieced together, put back together all the original treads from bits and pieces like this. So I've done that before. I may try to do it again. I'm not sure I even have all of the pieces to, to do both of these. I know there's most of one here, but I don't think I got enough pieces to figure out the second one and there's nothing else left in the tray. So, um, these, uh, these hold kind of a special place for me because this is one of the models that I had as a kid. Um, it's one of the things I remember growing up and playing with. And I'm an 80s kid, so I don't know if they were my dad's or one of my uncle's. Um, it was definitely a hand-me-down, something I inherited from someone older than me. But um, this one looks like it's in really pretty good shape. Uh, all original paint, very, very few if any little nicks and scratches. It's dirty. It's, it's got a lot of dirt and dust on it, but um, other than the, the treads missing and, and broken, um, this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, like I said, I just finished up a restoration on one of these. That video should be posting here shortly, uh, if it's not already by the time I get this mailbag out. 
Um, but I love these little models, very cool little pieces. And uh, this is definitely gonna hold a prized spot because most of the other ones I have are pretty rough. Uh, there are a few different variations on these. Uh, some of them, they had a, a decal in this little recess area down here that says snow track. Uh, this one doesn't have those, so I don't know if it had them originally and they're missing or if this was never issued with one. Uh, the model that I have from my childhood actually has the raised letters cast into the, the top piece that say snow track. Um, so I, I think I've got all the different variations of this model now, but I'll have to compare this one to some of my others because this is a really, really nice piece. So that's going to do it for this mailbag. I know it's a little bit longer, but uh, anytime I get these collection acquisitions, I like to show the whole collection, show all the pieces, everything together. And uh, this one is, you know, kind of special to me because it came from a, a very good friend of mine. And so uh, I'm thankful to John for thinking about me and uh, giving me this collection. Um, and I'm going to do my best to be a, a good caretaker for it now and into the future. So huge thanks to John Gunderman for uh, the collection. And I'm anxious to know uh, what any of my viewers know about slot cars. And if you can point me to a direction where I can... Uh, do a little research and, and learning on what these are because I think they're really cool um, and it's not something I collect, but I want to learn more about it and uh, see if there may be another group or other collectors out there that are interested in stuff like these. So as always, if you enjoy the video, give us a like down below. Uh, if you want to keep up with all of our restoration videos, future mailbags, click that subscribe button, ding the bell so you get notified. And uh, as always, join us next week for another Vintage Diecast Restoration.